yeah I can feel the air up there When I feel so clear I've been in another gear Yeah, I've been in another gear I can feel the air up there When I feel so clear I've been in another gear Yeah, yeah I've been in another gear yeah. I've been on another way About to blast off for days Damn, they don't even know my face Yo, 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 what is up? We are back, Hoops and Brews We haven't done one of these in person since Jason Tatum let the world down. Um, but we're back. It's the NBA draft special. Uh, just hanging out, doing the draft. Orlando is picking currently. It's uh, Woj is reporting that they're picking, that they're probably picking, what is it, Pablo Benchero is his name? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, that, that they're probably picking um, Pablo Benchero first. What do you think about that? Um, For the Magic, I think, I think it's the wrong guy, but it's still a good pick for him. Um, obviously, he's a solid player, uh, about a three, or probably played a four in the league, you think? Probably played a four or a three. Um, he could get you a bucket four, from... Four, five, assuming four. Bucket, but they uh, have like 96 fours, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah. It, you pick it, the best player. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No four on that team stands out like Pablo Banchero. So, um, it'd be a good pick. I think it'd be the wrong guy. I think you can't really pass up on a Chet Hogram. His skill set with his height is too unique for me to really just look over like that. But you're not getting nobody weak in Pablo Benchero. He's gonna be like a he gonna be a good Jabari Parker. <laughs> so he's gonna be Carmelo Anthony. J- good Jabari Parker isn't necessarily Carmelo Anthony. I mean, but that was his projection when he came out. Like even the body type was Carmelo Anthony. A good Jabari Parker is hilarious. That's a great comparison, but that's just hilarious. But the pick is in. The pick is in. The pick let's is in. Let's who, see. Let's, let's see who it is. I can see him being like T.J. Warren too. Man, if I pick T.J. Warren number one. <laughs> Dog, unless it's bubble TJ Warren, <laughs> unless it's bubble TJ Warren. If I pick TJ Warren number one, <laughs> t- fights need to be had. That's a fireable offense for your organization. I mean, if you put TJ Warren in the right, like maybe he could have been better. I mean, I don't as yeah, straight buckets, right, man. I'm, I'm, if I pick TJ Warren number one, it's a fireable offense. But let's see who they draft. Adam Silver is is, is it Adam Silver? I think so. He off the COVID protocol now. He's <laughs> he's straight. I guess so. Uh, what, what man is that? Walk up here. Who they picking? Who is it? Uh oh. Yep, they picked oh, yeah, number they one. Oh yeah, they went with Ventura. Oh wow, Ventura number one. That was a smoke screen. Wow, that's interesting. That was a smoke screen. Wow. I feel like one is day that Mike somebody... Miller that's his agent? For real? Yeah, that was Mike Miller, I think. Pretty sure that was Mike Miller. Janae Pan Pablo, number one. Think nobody saw that coming. Free draft, at least. That's fire. I mean, salute. Um, Pablo is immediately, I mean, Paola, or it's obviously going to be immediately fun to watch. You can get your bucket from the wing. It's going to be cool to watch a guy like that who can really uh, stretch the defense and just one on one, just flat out, just get you a bucket. You give him the space. Um, so that. Shout out to him. Yeah. Another four from Duke going high in the draft over these last couple of years. We saw Ingram. We see what he's doing to the league. You saw Tatum. Obviously, he's killing the league. Is he killing the league? Killing his team. He's most to definitely finals. killing the league. Killing his team chance you to win need finals. To, you and if, you need to relax on Tatum. To win finals. Because killing his team chance to win finals. No. You're a LeBron fan. You should be used to being disappointed in the finals. Especially in the earlier years, so I don't see why you got yeah, more. Why you don't have more patience? All right. And the first, you why you what you didn't have this energy for LeBron when he was uh sneaking the place up in the finals. His first couple of finals, his first two finals was very underwhelming. His first finals wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. It, was it really wasn't that bad. And he averaged like twenty points per game. And nah, it was really, like twenty four. I think they but, were getting. But 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 that was an era in which like the scores was like seventy nine and eighty four. It wasn't that bad, bro. It was pretty bad. It wasn't that bad. It was. They won that. They were sagging off of LeBron James, and he couldn't. Because he couldn't shoot yet. Exactly. But they weren't that bad. And also, that team was significantly worse than what this Boston team was. And he also had one of the greatest moments in NBA history in that playoff run. The playoff run, and I'm talking about the finals. Mm, okay. But when you perform that way, they literally won that series because they because of Michael what Beasley. they oh, were literally able to. <laughs> Michael Beasley. Good, is, that, he could be a good Michael Beasley, like I said earlier. Nah, nah, no. Nah, well, first, first of all, Michael Beasley was good. That's Michael true. Beasley was good. That's true. 
Beasley was good. It was just Ben Simmons. Is that no playmaker? That's a, that's a ben playmaker. Simmons, that, what? I actually forgot what Ben Simmons played basketball. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. You forgot how he do what? How he played basketball. I'm not even going to lie to you. You lying. Come on, bro. I haven't seen Ben Simmons play basketball in a year. I did. I forgot what he played basketball. He, he played like a 6'10", aggressive, athletic Rondo. I'm joking. I know he did. Well, <laughs> like, it's just like I ain't seen Ben play in a good minute. That's why I said that. Like, the Thunder on the clock. I'm assuming the Thunder pick Chet. They got to go with Chet. They don't uh, have to go with Chet, but I'm assuming they pick Chet. What I if they, they pick they... Ivy? Ivy is a guard, right? Mm-hmm. They got Shea and they got Josh Giddy. Does that matter to them though? I think it does. Or if you're the this Thunder, is already filled. And or you, if you're the Thunder, are you just trying to get whoever you think the best player is? They should think the best player is Chet. You are really so high the, on Chet Hungry. I am. You he really dope. rock with Chet Hungry. I am. I respect that. I like the size and the skill at that size is very rare. So that's fair. The ability to protect the rim, stretch the defense, finish over the top. Obviously, they say his weight is the problem, but in the NBA nowadays, they don't really abuse. My um, only thing with tall, slender guys is obviously the fact of can they stay healthy over a career? That's fair. Do you also want to do me a favor? Can you close the window? Because it's wow hot right now. I got you. I got you. And I forgot to close the window. And it is extremely hot. And I'm about to start. Yeah, just get close the door. And I'm about to start sweating in like 45 seconds with all these damn lights on. In here. Um, do you have any uh like sneak picks? In this draft? Yeah. Um off the top of my not mm, I haven't done too much on the draft. There's a guy called Jalen Williams. I think it's yeah, Jalen Williams from I think he's went to Santa Clara, who I was doing some research on. I like him a lot. Um yeah, I like him a lot. But it's uh, Jaden Williams. What position? It's like a he. I think he played guard in college, but he'll play wing in the league. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish the team like I don't know who's the team I wish could get him. Like Denver, the Cavs even Did the he Cavs. Was a guard Denver. Denver don't need. Oh, I, Denver nah. Don't Denver could use some more scoring. They got Bones and Jamal at the guard position. They good. Yeah, but Bones is a bench guy. Bones is a what he's a mean? bench guy. Not necessarily. He's a bench guy. Not necessarily. There's no way I want to run Jamal Murray and Bones Highland in my backcourt unless our only plan is to outscore everyone. I mean, together, no. But what's so? What do you? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. He's like six six. He can defend. Um, he's a solid playmaker. He also went to Santa Clara, which I like guys that go to uh, mid major schools because I feel like they're more used to the weight of the world being on them. You know, his dad played in the NBA. Jabari Smith. Hey, yeah. a lot of these players. The ads, but yeah, that's where we played in the NBA. Yeah, that's where we at now with it. That mess is insane. I don't know, like, oh my god, who did I figure out? Like, it's wild. I'm assuming it's Chet's gonna go. And we could all look at Twitter and figure out who's gonna go. He's smiling oh, yeah. too much. Yeah, Wall Woods definitely spoke. He's smiling too much, so I feel like he know he about to draft. <laughs> he's smiling too. There's a lot going on at that table. I feel like he just got picked, Chet. And then Jabari probably goes, wait, who's the Rocket? Yeah, the Rocket's not picking a guard. Who is it? The Thunder are picking now. Chet Holmgren. Yeah, Chet Holmgren. Told you he was getting picked. Fire. Too much. That's good for him, Fire. though. Fire. Immediately. No, that's, be- that, that's, that's a, that's a uh, great spot for Fire. Chet, though. Him catching dimes from Giddy. That's a great spot for Chet. Cold. Number one, he's... Sorry, white, but in, in in Oklahoma City. No, then he's white. No, like, that's a great spot for Chet. They will <laughs> love him there. <laughs> nah, like, <laughs> nah, but like they will love him there. That's a great spot for Chet at home, in my personal opinion. <laughs> I like it too. I, like I said, with Giddy, him, that combination is going to be fire. Obviously, well, I think he had like some, one of the most better uh, playmaking seasons for a rookie we, we've ever seen. So giving him another option out there on the wing, down low, is going to definitely benefit his game, benefit Shea, um, benefit a lot of the young guys they got over there. So, yeah, I really like this pick for Oklahoma. Uh, they got blessed by the Magic being able to land this guy. I think he complements what they have right now very, very, very well. Um, so, I'm looking forward to Chet Holgram. Um, He's 195 Early rookie of the year pick is going with him, especially in – Oh, Yeah, he's very small. 195 pounds is – that's me. And I'm but, nah, he's a really good shot blocker. Now, nah, he's going to have to put some weight on in the league. But he's really, a really good – Some You can't be 195 pounds, bro. 
Really? As a power four? You, you can't think? be a, 195 pounds. Really? In today's NBA? 195 like, pounds. We just seen in the playoffs. Wasn't they shooting 30 threes a game he gotta get per at least team a in the finals? Bro. He got to get at least a 220. He going to win rookie of the year at one at 200. Hmm? He gonna, he gonna, he's going to win rookie of the year at his weight right now. I think he probably puts on weight but before the season starts. I think he probably gets at least to at least like 205, 210 before the season starts. Well, 210 is a lot. I don't know if you want to... If he's really 195 pounds, he'll probably put on maybe 10 pounds before the season starts. I guess. I mean, I don't think it's necessary. Maybe over the course of his career, obviously, of course. Like, we've seen, like, obviously, Durant came in insanely skinny. Ingram, and I'm assuming that very, they, very, very skinny. And I'm assuming that they pick Jabari Smith, and then the actual draft starts. With the fourth pick, the actual draft starts. Because Jaden Ivey did not work out for the Kings. I also, they, oh, come on, what are we doing? Chris Tass, Porzingis, and Giannis. What are we Wait, doing? Wait, Giannis is crazy, but I'm not mad at the Porzingis. I'm not mad at Porzingis, but like, what are we doing with the Giannis thing? Yeah, did they, I didn't see that. Did they, they really have Chris Tass, Porzingis, right and Giannis? Did they really have a picture of Giannis? Yeah, they put a bet they show him. There you go. Oh my God. You do good, though. <laughs> <laughs> they show Giannis highlights, G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what dog. Nah, gee, I, I'm not rocking. No, nah, I'm not rocking with the Porzingis is fine. I'm not rocking with the Giannis. I'm, all I'm the not rocking pull with out the, of the hat. Porzingis mixed with <laughs> Porzingis mixed with Giannis is a outrageous comparison. There is a dude ne in uh next year's draft. Yeah, the French guy. Yeah, right? the French. Now he look uh -huh. insane. Yeah. He like seven four, can run yeah. the floor, can shoot, can. Play. Now he looks crazy. Yeah, he if they did crazy. that for him, I wouldn't be mad. For Chet, I'm not rocking over. No, <laughs> I'm not rocking. That's hilarious. I'm not rocking. Now they're gonna again. They'll, they'll probably pick Jabari and then the actual draft will start because I don't understand. Hmm? You want to talk about the Rockets real quick? They on the um. They just traded Christian Wood. What are your thoughts on the yeah. Christian Wood uh, trade or uh, him? Because the Magic? They, they were freeing up space for one of the guys. Mm -hmm. They knew they had a top three pick. They knew they were gonna get one of them, so they're freeing up space for one of the guys. Because Christian was there four or five. I'm assuming whoever will come in, come in, start right away, get all the minutes. You put them with Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Jabari. They're gonna have a very fun team next year. Mm -hmm. They'll have a very, 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 very fun team to watch. They also have Shane Goon as well. So they're just clearing up space for the young guys um, in that position. Well, in those positions. That's what's up. Yeah, I really like the um, the Christian Wood accusation for the Mavericks. Um, obviously, the Mavericks team has a lot of flaws, as some would say. But um, one of their flaws is, like, obviously another scoring option. They, had, they got Brunson, they got Dinwiddie, but sometimes they'd be very inconsistent and they're kind of smaller. You bring a guy like Christian Wood in who's almost like a guaranteed, I'm pretty sure he's like a – He's a monster in fantasy. I'm pretty sure he's like over the last couple of years, his, his averages are like at least 20 and like yeah, eight rebounds. Sure. So you bring another guy who can get a bucket. Um, and there's also a very um, um, low risk, high reward possible situation because he has an expiring deal. So if it doesn't work out, they can ship him out by December. If it does work out, then they got them another scoring option next to Luca right there. So um, a also he's an upgrade over Maxi Kiba. Oh, most I definitely. Maxi Kiba is a better defender, but he's an upgrade over Maxi. Most Kiba. definitely, we'll see. Because I think if if he's coming, if he comes in there and he's just as bad of a defender as Maxi Kleber was, he's gonna get just shipped out because Mavericks is trying to compete right now. They got one of the better players in the league. I think he he has a nice couple couple months of a trial when he first arrives there, and if he can really show out, and um, he's young, so I, I think he'll be fine. Like even when I. Like, even when I saw him that half a year, well, he just got picked. He's on the phone. Like, even when I saw, yeah, he's smiling too much. He, I hate when they do this. You just take away all the suspense. We know he what got picked. What you mean? Picked. We been to wall. I'm pretty sure you can get on your phone right now and see who. I mean, yeah, but no like, we know he got anyways. picked. Like, it, the suspense been killed. Like, we had suspense in like five That's fair. years. We haven't. We had we fast fair. <laughs> well, we had suspense in like five, like, six, seven years. We had suspense in like but six, seven years. Judging off what Christian Wood did with Harden those 20 or so games when Harden was in, in Houston, mm -hmm. I think you'll do perfectly fine with Luka. Yeah, if he is perfectly fine, that means the Mavericks will probably just extend him, give him a nice little four-year, $96 million deal. So I think that was a very good a good move for both teams. Um, Houston cleaning up a little bit of um, uh, more space for the youngins, and then uh, the Mavericks getting another um, scoring option for Luka Doncic to go to. That was a very interesting trade. Also, we got Portland coming up on the block. They made a trade. They acquired Jeremy Grant. Yeah, I think Portland should trade their pick. Really? For I know I know one name that was floating around was O.J. You know before that seventh pick, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I think, I, number one, I think Jeremy Grant and OG will give them the wings that they've been needing forever. Like, they've needed wings who could defend literally forever. That's facts. I think the best one they probably had was Alfred Gamino. Or, that's probably the I best mean, I guess wing. they had Batum later in his career. They had No, they had Batum earlier in his career, but I'm talking about, like, in the Dame Lillard era. Like, Batum left oh, the when Dame. the Dame Lillard era kind of started. Is when he went to Charlotte. That's when they whole star lineup left, mm -hmm. and Dane was the only one left. Mm -hmm. yeah, they've been needing a wing since then. Like they've yeah. been playing 
probably shooting guards at the wing. Like they were paying Norman Powell at the yeah. three. He, that's a that's a shooting guard. The mm-hmm. best one that they probably had. I know they had. I mean, uh, Mo Harkless was solid. Mo Harkless was solid. Mo Harkless was very solid. Mo Harkless was solid. Mo Harkless and Alfred Camino. I mean, that's probably been the best wings that they've had in Portland. Jabari Smith, obviously. Now let's start the draft after this. <laughs> Him going to Houston is like, again, it's That's, they, they needed a wing for sure. I think he would fit in perfectly. The only thing about him is, I think I read a stat that said he had some of the lowest shot creation. It's like he doesn't create his own shots. I mean, he's playing but with that, two dudes who exactly, create their shots all a, <laughs> but, but that's not a bad thing for the uh-huh. situation that, he, that yeah, you know, he's uh-huh. um, going to. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, that's what's up. I think that was the one piece they was missing. Um, they have um, Sagoon. I'm looking forward to seeing him Shane get more Goon. minutes. You, yeah, Shangun. Shangun, all right, cool. Yep, I'm looking forward to seeing him get more minutes this year with the um with them uh, loading off on uh Christian Woods. Shangun, his footwork is like up there, probably top five, top ten players' footwork already off the rip. Uh, once to him more with more minutes, so sure gonna be yeah, he's a really smooth target. player. Really, really smooth. Highest Jabari. drafted Auburn. Oh my goodness, since 1966. Wow, elite jump shooter, versatile defender. That's a top flight role player. That's low key perfect. He gonna take um them Kenyon Martin Jr. minutes in uh in Houston. Hey, the, the, uh, his NBA comparison when I was looking was Rashard Lewis, which I don't think is a bad one. Y'all might not know, y'all might not remember Rashard Lewis, but Rashard Lewis. Wait, come on, man! Everybody remember Rashard. Lewis. Everybody does not remember Rashard. I guarantee you that somebody watching this podcast right now that does if not you remember say, Rashard. If that's not. I don't think that's no. I no. You no. might not remember. You might not remember Rashard Lewis. No, that's not exact. Or, unless or, you're 16 years old. That's not absolutely or, unaccept- unacceptable. Or, or you might not remember his Seattle days if you do remember Rashard Lewis. His Seattle days were different than his Orlando days. That's true, but he was still. I mean, I guess yeah, he was. But now he was solid. If you're watching this spot and you don't know Rashard, that's insane. Like, please, you might not know DM who me. Rashard let's Lewis discuss. Is. Let's, DM me, please. Let's discuss this. That's <laughs> might not know who Rashard Lewis is. <laughs> that's not know Rashard Lewis. Now it's here when the draft gets interesting. I also wonder if they if they go wing. If they keep the pick and go wing, the Kings they should go wing. I mean they don't got nobody. I mean I think spot. Ivy is probably the best. Like Keegan Murray, I think Ivy is probably the best player. Probably. Mm-hmm. Like, what we go? What are we doing, bro? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are they comparing him to Kevin what Durant? What are we doing? What are we doing? Jabari Smith to Kevin what Durant. What are we doing? What are we doing? Tweaking. What are we doing? What are we doing? You do what good. Are we doing? Dope. Dope. What are we That's doing? What are we doing? Dope. What are we doing, bro? This is Kendrick Perkins doing. Because I remember that fucking draft last year. Now, granted, Evan Mobley was nice. But he compared Evan Mobley to Bill Russell. I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. I mean, you that mad at it? <laughs> yes, I'm that mad at it, bro. <laughs> yes, I'm that mad at it, bro. What the fuck you mean? So Bill, Bill Russell? Hey, Russell playing right now. You don't think he have, he have an Evan Mobley type impact, and that's fire. Just because he won this shit, if Evan Mobley was playing back then, he probably would have won this shit too. We got to stop. I don't bro. think that's that. First Low of all, key, that's like top we gotta tier. Stop, F, like, we got to stop. We got to. We come on, bro. Why do we, we have, have to stop? stop? We're taking what Bill Russell did back then. You thinking what he would do now is very you know, similar. You know, Bill Russell was an Olympic athlete. So right? what would Bill Russell have? So if Bill Russell was playing now. He would have won eleven championships. Now lie and say probably Bill Russell would have won eleven championships in twenty twenty two. No, say that. Say that. What? Say he would have won eleven championships nowadays. No, but he'd still be the best center in the league. He will not be the best center in the league. Gee, he was a Bill Olympic. Russell better than Joel, bro. Yes. Fuck out of here. You gotta, listen, bro. You got to understand. He was oh a. My listen, bro. You have to understand. You have to. Number one, you have to account for evolution. If he was an Olympic level athlete <laughs> in the fucking 50s, wearing, <laughs> hooping in Chuck Taylors, can you imagine the level of athlete he would be if you give him a 2022 weight program? Olympic level athlete? So Joel be not an Olympic level athlete? No. For the high jump and long jump? Fuck no. What is what? So what? Oh, you saying this? He would have been a DeAndre Jordan, and he wasn't even that tall. That that, that athleticism wouldn't give him that much of an advantage nowadays. He wasn't that. You are sh- tripping, bro. He was an Olympic level athlete. Listen, bro. Listen. He was an Olympic level athlete in his time, and he did not have the training that people have right now. If you give him 2022 weight NBA weight program, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like Evan Mobley. 
No, it doesn't look like Evan Mobley. Yes, it does. It look, you've seen it. Just open your eyes. It it's right there. Evan, it looks better than Evan Mobley. But no, it doesn't. Evan right, Mobley is bro. top tier. That's top tier I, talent. I love Evan Mobley. I think Evan Mobley is great. I think Evan Mobley is the future of the power forward position. I don't think he's Bill Russell, though. So you think, what? Right, so take, you said Bill Russell with today's uh, weight training. Today, so Bill Pick Russell. Is in. Let's so, see. I'm, I'm interested to see who the Kings play. All right, all right, all right. I think if it's yeah. Ivy, I can't see them keep. I can't see, I can see them keeping it, but I don't see them keeping it. I wouldn't keep it if I was them. Keegan Murray, please. They pick Keegan Murray. Great. Now Jaden Ivey gets to go to the uh, the Pistons, which is great for them. That's exactly what they need, and they don't have to spend the money on Brunson. Is that his girlfriend or his mama? <laughs> she won't be around long. Let me not say that. He might let me let me not say that. I'll take that back. <laughs> let me not say that. I think that's a good pick for them though. They need some defense. They actually do need a win. They probably need a long term replacement for Harrison Barnes. They also don't have who's their four? Uh the Kings four since shipping Bagley. I'm not sure. Exactly. That's a good they question. don't point being they don't really have a four. I think he's a win. He could, who could come in, play the three, play the four. He also averaged twenty three points last year and shot and shot forty percent from three. So he might even be able to come in and get you 14 points or have a Scotty Barnes type impact. Oh, okay. Probably not be probably not be um the level of playmaker, mm-hmm. but I think he could be re- re- reverse the playmaking level with the shooting level okay. and have like a Scotty Barnes type impact next season. Probably. Does the bonus start at the four or the five? I think it starts at the five for them. So it's the bonus. They got Harrison Barnes and um Harrison Barnes though. Harrison Barnes and uh I didn't see the other him. Two. Harrison no. Barnes and him. With Davian. And Mo Harkless. Yeah. Harrison Barnes, that's a replay. Harrison Barnes, whoever you want to put at the, uh, you know, I would do Davian Mitchell, De'Aaron Fox, Harrison Barnes, Murray, and Sabonis and see what happens. That's not bad. I like that. I sound like somebody I run on uh, 2K. Personally, I would do that. 2K uh, season. But I'm happy Jaden Ivey is getting a chance to go to Detroit because, number one, it can save Detroit some... Number one, it can save Detroit some money. They don't have to... Uh, Go after like Jalen Brunson anymore. You could you you could have Ivy and Kate as your kind of I guess franchise cornerstones, and then well, hopefully Ivy, Kate, and Aiden as your franchise cornerstones, and you doing something there in Detroit. You doing something with that, in my personal opinion. Like that sets you up real nice for the future. I think they could be a playing team next year if they Detroit get Detroit playing. Yeah. I think playing team they get that next year. Oof. If Ivy can come in and be who people assume he is. Man, Young, it. electric. You got Cade out there. I'm assuming Cade will improve next year. I think Cade could be a borderline all star next year. And Aiden, you know, I think Aiden, Aiden, Aiden is a 20 and 10 guy. They don't have they, Aiden. Hmm. They got Aiden. No, but I'm. A, they gonna that. But they they just cleared. I think 53 million in cap space. I'm assuming some of that is to throw some money at DeAndre Aiden. Throw a max at DeAndre Aiden. That would be fire. I wouldn't be mad at them for that. And that possibly makes you a playing team. They could be like what Cleveland was this year, next year. I think personally, well, that'd be that'd be a that'd be a hell of a success story, but hey, we'll see. Oh, I wonder what, <laughs> what big perks in Detroit got. He gonna say something regular. He Three gonna compare He gonna compare man to Kawhi Leonard. I bet. <laughs> Did he do his comparison yet? He do drop soon. What's um, up? Did, he, did, he, did did we miss the comparison? We might he, have. Yeah, we might have missed it. Keep it to compliment, K. Yeah, Jay Nivey. I'm 99.9% sure this is the pick. If it's not the pick, that's really weird. Like, you can't tell me he can't be a borderline all-star next year? I'm not mad at that. K had a great rookie year, especially in the East. I mean, even though there's more talent going you around. Get, they still have Sadiq Bay. They do still have Sadiq Bay. They have Marvin Bagley still. You put Jay Nivey with this. I think Jay Nivey can come in and give you 15, 16 points next year. Starting out, young electric guard. He can be what Killian Hayes was supposed to be for them. They have a good <laughs> – now they have a good case. I mean, they have a good coach, Dwayne Casey. And, again, this is this is if you can go out there and get DeAndre Aiden. If you can't get DeAndre Aiden, ignore everything You're not I'm rocking saying. with Isaiah Stewart? I fuck, with, I fuck with Stewart, but that's man not DeAndre tried, Aiden. Man tried to kill Bron mid-game. But that's not DeAndre Aiden. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, that's fair. DeAndre yeah. Aiden is 20 and 10. Two, yeah, you're right. I would like to see Aiden in the system where they do prioritize him. That would be nice. As much as I do slander him, 
him in the system where they probably. I, I, I'll take him on my fantasy team if he. He can. just got picked. That's why he over there. It's about to cry. <laughs> Or they lied to him too. Melo was on all the smoke talking, or I think it was all the smoke talking about how uh, Detroit told him they was gonna pick him. I feel like they just called him and told him though. I think oh, okay. I feel like they told Melo that before the draft, and then the draft came and he was like, "Yeah, this ain't happening." <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, but because he rocking back and forth for this shit, so they definitely just picked him. Pick is in. Who is it, Silver? When are you are you ready to start pretending about that Drake album? That's it's the best Drake album. I'm not going. Nah, it's literally the best Drake album. It is 100 percent the best Drake album. It's like hearing "So Far Gone" for the first time in 2022. It's the best Drake album. Have you even played the album more than once? Nah, not more than once. Play the album, G. I know he wasn't on there talking that talk. He wasn't on there like. Yes, he was. I make them hoes walk together like I'm Amber Rose. But, but listen though, I don't. That? But listen though, I don't have to ever hear Drake rap again. I like singing Drake. I used That's to have to hit my T's with Febreze. What was that? You thought that was I it. reached Heist the White House, couldn't reach, nigga. Of all the Where was Drake, that? Of all the Drake bars you could have picked to say, those were the Got my Spanish team convinced that I know Spanish. Really, once you get to talking, I don't understand it. These are, all, the, these are the Drake bars you picked. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I didn't, nothing. I'm just saying, these are the Drake bars you pick when I say <laughs> I prefer singing Drake. <laughs> no, he could have. I was looking forward to something like that. I might take quit. Bitch, no don't tell me that's your motto if you ain't been in Vogue. You hate, say it again? Bitch, don't tell me that's your motto if you ain't been in Vogue. That's what you said on the new one? Yes. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay, <laughs> huh? All right. I might take quit in the follies. You had your life, just to be honest. He is in tears. That man did not want to go to Sacramento. That man was like, Lord Jesus, thank you. That man did not want to go to Sacramento. <laughs> like, Lord, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Sacramento didn't pick me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Lord, my prayers have been answered, Lord. I'm ready for the baby Lord, Tron. Lord, my prayers have been answered. I'm ready for Lord. the baby Tron, Miles Bridges, dating Ivy Bars. Uh, you know, I think uh, Detroit trying to throw somebody at Miles. We don't need that, though. Miles Bridges does not need to go back to Detroit. Yeah, that would Keep be Miles bad. Bridges he far get, away. He getting arrested by game 20. Keep Miles Bridges far. <laughs> he getting arrested far away. I would from... bet, like, literally, where can I go to bed? Can I bet on what are the odds on Miles Bridges being arrested by game 20? If Keep you go Miles to Bridges far away. <laughs> Keep him far away from Detroit. <laughs> nah, that's hilarious. I hope Miles Bridges can get back to the Hornets. I like, I really, I really, really enjoy watching him and Lamelo Ball play together. Like, I thought their chemistry and they just, they really, I don't know, they really fit their games really complement each other. Um, with his bounce and I, and ability to score the basketball and his and Lamelo Ball's passing ability. I'm telling you, him with K, him with K, and if you can get Aiden, you got Sadiq Bay. I think you'll still have Marvin Bagley. I'm telling you. They could be like what they could be like what Cleveland was last year. They can be okay. That that would be a great season for them. I don't, I mean, you might be. I mean, I'm if they get, you. we'll see. I'm telling you, K come out here be an all star, borderline all star. Jay Ivy, I think he can come in and get you fit. I think Ivy and K is a crazy backcourt for the next ten years if it works out how I think it'll work out. That's like a LeBron. And D Wade type situation, not just listen, just LeBron D Wade <laughs> ideally type situation. This Caden Ivy, yeah. All right. <laughs> what you mean, Mister Button? He got the, you do good though. He got the G. He got the same height as D Wade. A lot of players got the same height as D Wade. Tell man. you if if it if it. I'm not <laughs> saying I'm not saying Katie is LeBron. I don't think Kate is LeBron. I'm just saying, t- come on, bro. I'm just saying type of situation. It's a LeBron and D-Wade type of situation. Like, comparison is John Moran. I'm not, I'm not buying that one. Which game show is this? I'm not. Because <laughs> comparison is John Moran. Even though I don't think I don't, he's athletic they, you, as John. You know these comparisons are irrelevant, man. Even I though. Even who, though even comparisons though, to who? Even though I don't think he's as. Ooh. Even though I don't think he's as athletic as John Moran, though. John Moran is different. Tell you, no. So tell you, it's a D Wade Lebron type situation. Crazy. That's what I'm a. I'm a. I'm a name the episode that. <laughs> I, Ivy, Jay, Ivy, and K Cunningham are the new D Wade Lebron. Can you please write that down for me? I got you. I write it down right now. Name the episode that. You said so. Uh, K, K, and Ivy. 
are the new D Wade and LeBron. I'm gonna take it back to the old school days. Put some artwork on that shit. <laughs> Fucking Photoshop their faces. <laughs> I'm gonna Thomas like, bro, can you do this for me, please? <laughs> For them, I guess that ah, this is where it gets interesting. Maybe you pick Shaden Sharp. This is a high pick for him. I think Shaden Sharp also arguably has some of the highest upside in his draft, but he's kind of unknown because he didn't play last year. But I did watch some of his footage. Um, I was on YouTube. I, I was actually on YouTube doing like a lot of research on some of these guys, like the past week. He was one of your favorite Shaden Sharp. You said yes. Him and my sleep. My sleeper favorite is Jalen Williams. My sleeper favorite. I think it's why the Lakers getting that 35th pick as far as we know our history, Lakers history. They've been drafting some really good guys late rounds um, and getting undrafted guys. So that's fire. Shout out to Rob Polinka, uh putting that work in next season. We are back. Rob Polinka, the genius strikes again. What's your definition of back for the Lakers? Huh? What's your definition of back for the Lakers? Another championship. Boy. You do good though. <laughs> You that's, do good that's though. That's not good though. But if we don't get a you championship do good though. next year, then You're LeBron never, never winning another ring if, on the if Lakers. If Lakers don't get another championship next year, then LeBron never should have came to the to bro, the Lakers. Bro, they won a ring. What I, I like, I don't understand, bro. They did win a ring. You act like it didn't happen. They won a ring. That's twenty five percent. So you want to win a ring every year? That's twenty five percent. Not every year, year, but I want to compete every year. And if you have a LeBron growing up and you're on your roster, if you had LeBron James on your He's roster, 20. you competed every he year. He is in year 20. Okay, go somewhere else and be weak then. Who's this? Uh, that's a man from Arizona, I think. Okay. I mean, I know the uh, Pacers could use the wing. Um, shoot, they got Turner, Brogdon, even though Brogdon been in every trade rumor. Yeah, Brogdon been in every trade rumor since the beginning of time. He's really, really, really good, too. Despite the fact that he's really I'd love to see him in a Lakers jersey. Bro, you would love to see everybody in Lakers jersey. <laughs> I wouldn't love to see him in a Lakers jersey. Why not? I would only like to see Russell Westbrook or Kyrie Irving in a Lakers. I don't even want to see Kyrie in a uh, Lakers jersey. You don't want to see Malcolm Brogdon? He fits perfect. No, with I don't. He, team he, 1 he fits perfect for them if this was LeBron six years ago. So what? Huh? Bro, I don't want LeBron to play the same way he played his whole career next year. G. I want LeBron to be. He a don't have to play this. Even yes, with, he does. Uh, Brogdon doesn't you, mean he has to play that same. Yes, way. that's that's another combo guard, bro. Who can set up the offense by himself, distribute a little bit by but himself, yeah, and pretty but, much hit every open but three? But he's he get. another combo guard. I would like the I, I I like the Russ pairing because he's a ball dominant guard who can dish to everyone else. You like the Russ pairing, even though you multiple times have stated you don't like how Bron had Russ sitting in the corner. Have I don't like how exactly I don't like how Bron had Russ sitting in the corner. So stop sitting Russ in the fucking corner. So what made you think that's gonna stop? Why I don't. Was it just that's magic no, gonna stop look, happening. No, look, I don't. That's the that's why I God damn I don't <laughs> that's why I don't believe in him because I don't think it's gonna stop. That's why you bring in a Malcolm Brogdon who can stand in the corner that's and, not and destroy a team. There isn't no world where Malcolm Brogdon is better than Russell Westbrook. In 2022, he's not better than Russell. Westbrook. In 2022, see Russell Westbrook last year averaged 18, eight and eight. The weakest 18, eight and eight you ever seen in your life with three backboard shots, uh, six turnovers. It wasn't six turnovers; it was four. Same thing. Last year, the, <laughs> the, the, year, the year before. Now, them, I wouldn't mind them picking Shaden Sharp if if they keep the pick. Uh, that's hilarious. But I no. wouldn't mind them picking Shaden. I wouldn't mind Portland picking Shaden Sharp if they keep the pick. They need to ship this pick off, man, right I now. I think Hurry they up. probably should ship it off. But if they don't ship it off, I wouldn't mind them picking uh, Shaden Sharp. Yeah, I love OG there. Also, open it up for uh, Scotty Barnes a little more down in Toronto. What was we talking about? Oh, yeah. Mac no, bro. That's in no world. No. And again, you're... Right now, in 2020... No, if, if it's no. 20... I don't give a fuck if it's 2045. or something. I, don't I get you. I don't care if it's... 2022. I don't care if it's 2045 and they both in the big three or the damn fucking rec league when they 50. No. When you are as efficient and your IQ is as high as a Malcolm Brogdon... First of all, and Malcolm Brogdon don't even play that much. He be hurt all the time. What? Pull up how many games he didn't play the last I'll couple of years. I mean, that don't mean it's guaranteed to be if consistent. If it's more than 60, I'll take a shot. If it's more this season or any season? I mean, not any season. The past okay. two years. All if right, it's bro. more than 60, I'll take a shot. All right, but I'm going to pull it right now. Malcolm Brogdon. All right, cool. If it's not more than 60, you drink. 
All right, so 36 games this year. Exactly. And 56 Drink. games this year before. Drink. <laughs> Go. Drink. <laughs> All right, this is, for, this is for Malcolm Brogdon, even though you're still welcome. Let's go. And I don't want to see Melo there. Not Melo. Kyrie there just because if you thought, you got getting away with Like, granted, I'm not going to say that he's not going to go out there and play. I'm sure he loves basketball. But if he pulls that type of shit in Los Angeles, if you thought the Russell Westbrook shit was bad, <laughs> if you thought the Russell Westbrook shit was bad yeah, last year. Don't get Let caught. Kyrie go out here and try to play 30 games in LA and wrecking some shit in LA. Yeah, don't get caught partying on your birthday when you out that day on under Los Angeles, man. <laughs> Remember he got caught partying in uh when the first whoever's yeah, birthday was. Yeah. Don't get part don't I be it, out, don't I be on the injury list. Birthday. Don't be on the injury list, then pop up on the um on Twitter and in, in the Lakers fans not letting you take a mental a uh mental health break, bro. <laughs> Lakers and Knicks are the absolute worst place but for Kyrie it, to go. It, are we really at the point where a Kyrie Irving season is guaranteed to be something like that? It's going to happen. Is there a guarantee? It's no been matter, the past five. No matter where Kyrie Irving goes, it's been the past five so years, bro. So it's guaranteed it's going to happen. He's next either going to do that or he's going to get hurt. He's done that every year for the past five seasons. <sighs> like at this point, and also even when he was there, he was never the the healthiest person. That's true. That's true. But I. I I don't know, man. If he gets back, I mean, I, this whole Kyrie Irving stuff is honestly insane. I'm tired of it. But I think he can have a – if he, I mean, obviously, if the Lakers can stay healthy, he plays, they do the right thing this offseason. He's off really season. good. The issue is he never plays, and there's always something up with him. That's the issue. It's always something up. He just can't never just go out there and just have a regular season. If you're Brooklyn, you give him a long-term deal or no? If I'm Brooklyn, I trade everyone. But that's a whole – I trade everyone. I want all of you gone. Bye. KD can go too. Everyone. Everyone needs to go. You don't want to rent. Look, if no. you rent it back with Brooklyn, you got a lineup of. I understand that. Kyrie Irving. And I, I, I look, look, I understand that, and I would love to, but I'm not giving him a. I would give him a long term deal with incentives to get the rest of the money. I would do. I would do team options. Gee, but look, if you rent it back healthy next year, you got a lineup of Kyrie. I would do team options. Joe Harris, Seth Curry, uh, listen, KD. I would do. Claxton, listen, Ben Simmons. Listen, I would do team That's options. Dangerous. Listen, I would do team options if Kyrie does not want to accept a two year deal. And in the other years, our team options, I would trade him, and I would trade Kevin Durant. He can go too. You want to? You want all you, of them? Can so go. you want Kyrie's talent with the team option? You dreaming? No, that's some type of no. No, that's, listen. Oh, the, you want Kyrie would, Irving twenty eight? I'm not you, guaranteed. How many like, times bro, last year? Bro. And you want to put a team option on a Kyrie Irving deal? You know, because I can't. I because I can't trust you're gonna play. Kyrie Irving. I can't trust you. Niggas like Jeremy Grant get team options. I can't dude. trust you. What? Jeremy Grant, I know Jeremy Grant gonna be there every night. I know Jeremy Grant gonna come to work every day. And granted, I don't think everything is Kyrie fault. I respect, you know, the things he stand for. I want to think respect it, but he don't be coming to work. It's no, I, I wouldn't look. Who's it's wait, no who, guarantee. Who, who, who's Portland pick? All right, let's see who they pick. But look, Sharp? He, he gonna be back with Bron, man. Shaden Sharp told you. Shaden Sharp. I like that. Say, I like the way this draft is going. I think everybody is picking who they should pick. That's cool. I think ma- nice. I think the Magic pick Pop uh, Benchero because they think he could be an elite scorer. I think they probably want they probably wanted somebody who they felt could average twenty seven, and I think Pablo is probably the one that could do that. Shaden Sharp, I like Shaden Sharp. If Shaden Sharp can, yeah, he was the number one recruit in top. So basically, you got the number one recruit in twenty twenty two at the seventh spot to pair with Dame and to pair with Anthony Simons, and you have Jeremy Grant. You probably need one more wing. Well, you have Nazi Little. You also have Josh Hart. I like what Portland's doing. Oh, yeah, I love Josh Hart. I like what Portland's doing. I feel you. They bring back Nurkic. I think he's a free agent this offseason. But, yes, you, he, can't be, he, can't, he can't be trusted to come to work. I'm not giving you $150, $200 million if I can't trust you a, to come to work. A team option is insane. If you get no, to the point where Kyrie Irving don't, don't have that type of leverage, I said that I would leverage guarantee, a, clear, a team I, option? Listen, I said I would guarantee you two years. And after those two years, team options. I can't trust you. You can't be trusted. For, like, for instance, any Zion contract, just go have a, a weight thing in there. Same thing with Embiid. He got a weight and injury thing in his contract. He got a weight. Embiid has a clause? In, uh, with yeah, he has an injury clause. Explain it. Like, because, you know, he, I think he signed a contract when he, when, remember when he played that one year mm-hmm. and got hurt? I think that was his third, fourth year. Mm-hmm. So he had like a, Thing provision in, in his uh, contract because you don't know if he's gonna get hurt again. So no, he has to do team options. Oh my God. He got to do team, team options. options. No, he got his do team talent options. is too crazy. He gave he got to do, he gave he, you fifty like he, four times. His talent in one month. is too crazy, and he don't be coming to work. 
So I don't even know how crazy the talent is. They don't be at work. <laughs> and KD, again, he can go too. If he really at somewhere where he can compete, if you're the Miami Heat, you think you're going to come to the Miami Heat with that BS? He did it in fucking Brooklyn. KD is supposed to be his best friend. What the fuck? It's a lot deeper you than You went to Boston. Boston went to the finals. Boston went, was a game away from the finals without you. You came back the next year. Shit didn't necessarily go right. You want to leave. No problem. You go to New York. Start off playing. You get hurt after 20 games. Don't play no more with a shoulder impingement. Not saying the man wasn't hurt. I believe the man was hurt. But point being, you wasn't on the court. COVID happened. You didn't want to take the vaccine. No problem with that. Your, your body, your choice. But again, you're not coming to work. <laughs> You not coming to work. <laughs> you not coming to work. You like again. You can do whatever you want to do, but you not coming to work. If I'm a team, no, 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 no. I am not giving you two hundred million dollars. I ain't seen you at work enough to do that. Without a team option, I would, I would Even, guarantee. No, I, 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 no, look. Allegedly, the contract is this. They offered him two years guaranteed, and then it's like provisions, like game provisions. After that, it's like he had to play 50 or 60 games a year after that to get the rest of your money. But I do team options. That's OD disrespectful. How? Gee, okay. What do you mean? It depends. So even well, all the all the teams he said he was interested in, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, the Lakers. You know what, Miami, you know what type of dynamic he brings to those teams? If he goes to any of the teams he stated he was interested in, that's immediately a contender. If he plays, if, sure. <laughs> yeah, you're right. If he plays. I don't think in those sort of atmospheres he... That Why do you think that? What have you seen of... Gee, he was playing with LeBron James, just went to the finals, came back and said, I don't want to be here. That's true. <laughs> but What do you mean? You want to go play... Who are we comparing to Zion? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I was about to say, who are we comparing to are Zion? They, are they just talking about the Pelicans? Okay. Okay. Who I think can be a surprise team next season. Most definitely. If, again, Zion's on the court. Even without him. They can still get the Yeah, AC. but Zion brings a different dynamic to the yeah, team. Yeah, you're right. To the team. Now is when it gets confusing. I don't actually know who you should pick. I th- I, was, I would think Shaden Shaw would have been good for them too. But obviously he's gone. They'll probably pick AJ Griffin or Dyson Daniels. I can't see them going for Johnny Davis right here. Even though I do fuck with Johnny Davis. Mark Williams. A lot of I hope Duke, Mark Williams goes to the A lot the of Duke dudes up here. I, I, I hope Mark Williams goes to the Prince, Hornets. Kansas. Yeah, I hope Mark Williams goes to the Hornets. Personally. You can see better than me. Is the uh, red light still blinking on the camera? A little small red light? Small red I'll go up there and check. I can't really see. Let me check. Yeah, cool. But yeah, I'm interested to see who they pick. By the way, what do you think of like, what? okay, hypothetically speaking, let's say KD decides he wants to get traded. Where do you want to see KD at? I think the best possible. <clears throat> I think to the Lakers with LeBron. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry I had to say it, but look, I, I, bro. look, look, look. Outside look, can stop, I talk? No, can, I, can, I, can I explain, please? All right, come on. Come All right, on. but listen. Look, you know, it's that over the last couple of years, LeBron and KD have been getting beat up on by these young guys. Like we saw KD absolutely get destroyed by Jason Tatum and those boys in round one of this year. It was sad. It looked like he was a couple steps behind. We saw LeBron James absolutely get obliterated by the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker and those young guys, Mikael Bridges, Campaign, and all them guys, they absolutely obliterated him and they ran him out of the first round of the playoffs. I think if these two old guys, LeBron James and Kevin Durant, want to get back to the successful ways that they were in their young career, they're going to have to team up somehow and they can win like that. How he going to get with there? But this, with this, with the way things is looking up, How he gonna get that's there? the only way they can each save their careers. They're obviously, they know known to be friends. They have literally have a song together. I'm one of the bars off the song because I feel like the world is LeBron. Uh, the world How is, is he going and to I'm get LeBron there? James. That was a KD bar How is he going from the to song get they made together. How is he going to get there? Possibly. I mean, it, look, if, if look, let's say if something happens with Kyrie and he end up in Miami or whatever, it's, I'm not saying it's a very high chance of this happening, but it, it can happen. And I think he should, if Kyrie Irving ends up somewhere, he, he's trying to force his way there. If he goes out of his way to demand a trade to that specific destination, it can work somehow. I think, and that's the only way them two. Otherwise, they're gonna keep they're gonna keep seeing these okay, bad so, endings okay. from, e- from okay, each of them. They can't take the Lakers jersey off and tell me where you like to see KD go. <laughs> All right, I also I would like to see KD in Miami. I like that. Um, obviously they got they know for having a great uh, training staff. Obviously, KD hasn't been the most healthy, most durable player over the last couple. 
three, well, four or five years, really his entire career, honestly, being real, yeah. but specifically over yes. the last couple of years. Um, he go there, we get a great training staff. Um, he could train, probably rest every once in a while, but they know what to do with him uh, to manage his minutes. And obviously, we know Steve Nash is playing him like sometimes 45 minutes a night, even in the regular season, 45, 46 yeah, minutes, Steve Nash is a, two is weeks a, straight, is a things like that. If you go somewhere like Miami, you got, got a lot of guys who can take the pressure off him. Obviously, Jimmy Brothers going to take a, a ton of pressure off him. My band, out of bio, uh, Tyler Hero. Take a ton of pressure off him and, and his workload. If he goes somewhere like Miami, gives him that, uh, gives him a go-to number one for sure scoring option, where he doesn't have to be there every night. I think he could possibly get another ring that way. Um, but yeah, I think Miami is probably the perfect destination for him. I heard a lot. Um, we had Slavy Keys on the podcast. He was telling me about how he really wanted him to come to Phoenix. I saw Scott tweeting earlier about how he really wanted him to be in a Bulls jersey. But I think the number one, I think those are around the top three. Those two teams I just named with Bulls, Phoenix. So I think number one option for KD, the best look for my dog KD. Um, arguably best player in the world, would be Miami Heat. I just think with that world-class organization, Pat Riley, it just would be a nice blend. They kind of, we saw at times they needed another score. Jimmy Butler couldn't hit that pull-up jumper. Guess who would have hit that pull-up jumper? Because we've seen him do it on trillions of times in clutch situations. Kevin Durant hits that pull-up jumper that Jimmy Butler did not hit last year versus Celtics. You get that option, and I think that's a very huge difference maker for the um, franchise. So I think Miami will be uh, the perfect destination for Kevin Durant next season. But, I mean, who knows how this offseason is going to play out. It's been a very annoying offseason as far as all the Kyrie, KD um, rumors and whatnot. Shit barely started yet. Yeah, I feel you. But um, If I, I... What's up? Couple destinations. One, the Mavericks. Oh, yeah, that would be... Oof. I think Luka and KD would be... That's some shit. That's, that, not, that's some shit. I think that's some shit. And also, the Nets need piss back, and I'm pretty sure hey. the Mavericks... Half picks. <laughs> another KD? destination. It probably another 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 destination. Denver. Katie and Denver. I heard he had interest in Denver. I mean, I mean, number one, he be high as hell. <laughs> Denver high as hell goes together. Number two, again, basically, you would be you would be Michael Porter Jr. on steroids. <laughs> Michael Porter Jr. Uh, that's hilarious because KD has endorsed weed on multiple times. If you don't get that reference that Pavy was making just now. Yeah, like so he would be Michael Porter Jr. on steroids. <laughs> you would finally pair Jokic with the elite score. It would take some of the pressure. Like I think again, I still think best case Jokic is like around 22, 13, and nine, and not 27, whatever and whatever. I still think if he could come down some Denver is fire. Yeah, Denver is fire. And then my last spot, Portland. Mm-hmm. You got drafted in the, in the um Pacific Northwest by uh by uh by other uh, uh, Sonics. You know what it's like to play with great point guards. You play with one your whole career. Why not go out there, play with Dame? If Dame is back mm-hmm. and Dame is healthy, you got Dame, you got KD. I think you right in contention in the Western Conference with anybody. I feel you. I'm not mad at that. And that's the one thing that just Miami also, as well, though. I rock with the Miami thing as to well. To compliment, it's not that, like, it's why there's so many options, I think. It's like five, six, seven teams that I think would really, like, automatically go into that contender if they added Kevin Durant. Because his game just kind of fits with everybody. That's why him with the Warriors was just so smooth. You come into a team that's already won a championship without you and you fit as well as you do, his game complements pretty much everybody. If you can, if your team is good, a Kevin Durant compliments your game and saying his game complements whatever your team is trying to do insanely well. So I, I think the, he could switch how he plays a little bit up, though. What do you mean? I think he could. He didn't, did he really switch up how he plays with the Warriors? No, no, no. No, I'm saying I think he could stand to. And yes, he did. He was, he was uh, more... Nah, he was more inside. He's no, nah, I don't know. He still got a lot. Remember, he still got a lot of those those ISOs. And that's when they would start losing series, or like without losing series, but that's when they would start losing games, and like the games would get closer when when he would ISO. But I wish he would catch and shoot a little bit more. Catch if he has somebody to create for him, catch and, mm, I mean, that's why. Like, yeah. which is which is why I would like to see him go somewhere like. Like all the options that like we need, the Mavericks or like, mm-hmm. like, like, bro, yeah, can you imagine be nice if him. Luca's driving and he just spotting up, kicking out to KD? That would be crazy. A seven foot. I mean, obviously he gonna he gonna get a chance to do his Damn. shit, but like you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's just me. Dejounte Murray. Have you seen the uh, rumors about Dejounte Murray? I have seen the rumors about. I have DeJounte no Murray. idea what they pick. I'm assuming they pick AJ Griffin just because that's the Spurs thing to do. They could also <laughs> probably use a center though. They gonna, so maybe the they guy gonna from pick Memphis. that Nicole Jofis dude. That's the they Spurs also thing yeah they, yeah. <laughs> Or they, or they could pick the, uh, pick the, uh, the uh, guy the from France cause, cause, yep, because, uh, again, Spurs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but no, very DeJounte first Murray. Thing to do. Um, if you're the Spurs, why? And if you're – what teams would you like to see him possibly get added to? 
Um, what was the number? One? What was the one that he quoted? Do you remember what it was off the top of your head? The team, because you know, I know he quoted it himself. Did you see that? Yeah, it was the uh, Hawks. The Hawks rumor it would pair him with Trey Young. Yeah, that's fire. I think they could play off each other. I mean, Dejounte brings the defense. He brings the defense, and he brings the. I don't think he has to be on ball. He's athletic. He can catch a lob. He can hit a three. I think he, him, and Trey Young could play really well off each other. He kind of brings a dynamic the Hawks never really, you know, had in that backcourt. Obviously, they had other scores with Trey Young, but. DeJounte brings scoring, playmaking, and defense all at one time. So I think him and Atlanta will be nice. Um, um, another guard he can play off. We haven't really seen that yet. Um, he had Derek White, but Trey Young is a whole different story. I mean, uh, besides Atlanta, what else? What are other teams that he, who he could possibly? I think Cleveland was interested. I think Cleveland. Yeah. So, I mean, I like it depends. If they, if it depends if they can get rid of Sexton. I wouldn't want all three of them on one. Uh, yeah, I would sign and trade Sexton. Okay. I would sign and trade Sexton, and probably maybe Isaac Okoro. Y'all could go and then trade you a pick. But yeah, Dante Murray obviously is an outstanding talent. Great player last year. Great fantasy player last year. Um, He can help pretty much any team that where he lands. Wonder who they picked up. I, like I, got- I hope Mark, I hope Mark would, I think, I hope Mark Williams goes to the Hornets. He probably will end up going to the Hornets. They do need a center, right? That's the one Badly. thing. <laughs> Needs badly. <laughs> Mason Plumley ain't gonna hold it down. Mason huh? Plumley is not it. <laughs> Shout out Mason Plumley, but that's not it. <laughs> he is not him. Pronoun they. Yeah, Lamelo Ball. Him. They asked him the one thing he feel like the Hornets is away from from really competing. He said a good big man. So uh, I would right, love to. Uh, Mark Williams would be nice. Who we going with, Adam? Jeremy. Who? Oh, okay. Six man of the year. What? Came off the bench. I mean, Marvin Williams did it. Scotty Barnes did too. I think what was it? Scotty Barnes or Patrick Williams? Oh, okay. Play for Euro League makes perfect sense. Play for the Polish team, Euro League, perfect sense. Sitting <laughs> up on the Spurs. Perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, I have no doubt he'll be good then. I know they got they I got no hell of scouts across I the have, world. I huh? have no doubt he'll be good then. Spurs and Before, anything overseas. I don't nine, know. Nine four and one. Mm, what's the comparison? What's the height? You about to get on here and say fucking Kevin Garnett. The blonde hair look cold. He's like C Breezy. He like Chris By the way, Brown. Chris Brown album coming out tonight. Are you excited? Not really. Oh, okay. I saw your top five though. You posted. You got eighteen hours of babyface Ray. I got eighteen hours of babyface Ray. That's fire. I did. I did not know I listened to that babyface Ray, but I do listen to a lot of babyface. Ray. That's fire. Listen to a lot of babyface Ray. That's fire. I'm pretty sure you first on mine, but eighteen is still pretty good. He's probably my favorite newer rapper. That's Not probably. Right. He is my favorite newer rapper. That's what's up. He's my favorite rapper of everybody right now. Okay. I respect that. I done fucked around, blue. what you in your life and just want to spend it. <laughs> Stupid ass yo, youngin. Stupid ass. <laughs> that man, V said, my dog scammed the world so much, we fucked, fucked up, up the, the economy. economy. I'm like, yo, V's is hilarious. <laughs> V's is a American yeah, jewel. That's my shit. Spinach reads, my, that's my. <laughs> V's is an American jewel. Uh, that's hilarious. But yeah, we need the visa. I didn't really like that little baby V's track though. Like, it's, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make myself yeah, it's like cool. it. I'm trying to make myself like it. They more. didn't. They they didn't really do the Jeezy I'm, justice. I'm but, trying to wait. Wait. wait what uh-huh. Have you have you heard the actual Jeezy song? You did. No, I haven't. Oh my god, bro. Lord, we send, losing recipes. I'll it. play it for you. All I'll right. send it to you. All right. I'll play. I'll send it and play it. All right. That's why I didn't like it. I'm like, bro, I I actually like it. You did. I'm trying to force it on me, but yeah, on me. I can barely run this verse was hilarious, though. For real? I can barely understand what V's saying. I got to listen to I mean, it. You I can't listen to it like five times. You carry on saying what V's is saying, but I think it hurts hilarious. <laughs> not, all right, at least I know I'm not You can't true. really understand what V's saying. I don't know what saying. this is. I like his you really can't understand. I, I had to like put the captions on to understand what V's was saying. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what are you saying, bro? What do you think the... uh? First of all, what do you think Bradley Beal should do? And what do you think the Wizards should do about Bradley Beal? What do he just, I... He just... He did just opt out. But that doesn't mean he can't that come back. That doesn't mean, yeah. I, him opting out is a very normal guy who, um, not very like regular, uh, not surprising at all. Um, decision from him, a guy who's at the pretty much are arguably the prime of his career. That's what they do most of the time is they opt they opt out of these deals to see what they can gauge on the market because they're guaranteed to get a very high deal. Um, but I think um, I saw. Did you see? Am I tripping? Did you see the quote too where he talked about he wants to win now? Right at some point in his career, they all say that. I feel you, but I mean, honestly, I don't think there's nowhere you can really just, I mean, unless maybe Miami, but I don't see how Miami clears the cash place for a Bradley Bill. 
I think he's just go back. He's probably gonna sign a oh, like another four year max, four or five year max deal with Washington, and just say to take it to hell. Like whatever happens here happens. Maybe he gets back to twenty eight. I know he had kind of a slump year compared to the year he had before that when he averaged thirty. Slump year compared to the year he had before. Yeah, but I mean, I think he just goes back to Washington and signs for a five year max monster deal, and whatever happens happens with them happens. Like, I mean, it is what it is. I don't think, and we'll see. I'm not paying Bradley Bill two hundred ten million dollars. If you're the Wizards? I'm not paying Bradley Bill $210 million. As the Wizards? I just paid John Wall $200 million. And did you see how that went for the me? The Wizards? I'm not paying. I don't. Well, who else are they going to pay that? First of all, Porzingis is there. I'm just saying, Porzingis is there. After, like, he an afterthought. I'm just saying, he's there. But he's still Now, like, Bradley Bill and Chris Tyler Porzingis is not a bad thing. It's not but, a bad. But I'm not paying Bradley Bill $210 million. I, he's I'm not the, a super max player to me. If I'm the Wizard, a guy who can get you possibly 28 to 30 a game, not a super max player. No. So they, they those dudes ain't grown on trees. Okay. So you pay him the money. Especially it wasn't when he, like, but, uh, but especially also, when you're the Wizards. What did he shoot from the field when he uh, gave you that thirty? Please look it up. I got you right now. What did he shoot when he gave you thirty? I bet you. I bet it was like forty three percent. Forty three. And also, Russ was there when he did that. Don't forget that. That's when Russ had a triple double. Russ was there when he did that. Do not forget about that. The pressure Russell with Russ, Russell. It's so easy to say Russell Westbrook. It's not even like it's Russell Westbrook. The pressure Russell <laughs> Westbrook puts on the D. It's really like just a tongue twister. It's not like you mean to say it. Like, but when it, the pressure he puts on the defense. Gee, 30 points per game on 48%. Oh, okay, that's good. But that was the year uh, uh, Russ was there, right? Oh, my God. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Was it the year Russ was there? Oh, I'm going to ask you a question. My, yeah, that's, yes, that's okay, the Okay, then. What do you mean? There. Oh my god. Russell's the best player on the team, by the way. No. So a guy giving you 20, 12, and 12 ain't the best player on the team? Are we are we really doing this? Compared to somebody who gave you 30 Why or Why do you think he gave you 30? What did he do this year? What do you mean? He was injured this year. No, before he got hurt, he wasn't hurt the whole year. Before he got hurt, he was getting whooped up on. Who why why are we showing David Robinson? <laughs> why are we showing David Robinson? Okay, all right. All right, oh, okay. they just showing first picks. <laughs> like, why are we showing David Robinson? Oh, my. God. What are we doing? The ball fell off. Well, what are we doing? Shaq is as far. Shaq is my first ever favorite player ever in the league. Michael Jordan is my first ever favorite player, but I respect that. Michael Jordan didn't Allen Iverson. Shaq now, is my first ever favorite player and my first ever hated player in the league. Because he left. Then yeah. I've been LeBron James ever since. Sorry to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's talking about great bigs. Yeah, yes, I think sir. bigs were number one picks. AD, AD competing for the MVP award next year. All right. <laughs> you know I got a sneak MVP. Who? If he's healthy, Dame Lillard. If he's healthy, Dame Lillard. You know, it would take a whole lot from Damian Lillard for him to sway the voters pick, to be MVP. It would take a, a whole lot for Damian Lillard. Not really. I'd say it'd like, take him like 34, 33, no, like well. six assists, Blazers top three seed. That's the only way he get it. Maybe 30 in top three if seed. If they can put together a good four team seed. and Dame can come back and be healthy. Oh, mm. They get top three seed and Dame give you 32 a game. I ain't mad at it, but I don't, I don't, that's very unlikely. In the West, with the Warriors coming back. I mean, obviously, MB's always there. Mavericks making moves. Luka is always there. Luka will probably be the consensus favorite for next year. Like, if you're going to Vegas, he sh- he's, he's probably the consensus favorite. He should be. I think an American player gets it, though. They a little, who? little bit overdue. Who? I think Tatum can steal it. Oh, my God. They really not, nah, I, I think Trey Young maybe can steal it. Depending on what they do with the team. Maybe. Who was well, I think Zion, if healthy, obviously can steal it. If he's healthy, sure. There's a lot of good American dudes. I think we definitely get a block. Ooh. That's a good pick for the pair of Bradley Beal. Somebody else, else who can score. I think he was like 20 something game last year at Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Johnny, by the way, Johnny Davis got picked by the Wizards. I mean, y'all will see this later on, so y'all will know who got picked. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> New York Knicks are on the clock. Oh, the Knicks on? Ooh. Ooh. 
I think Ooh. they wanted to trade up in the draft, but obviously that what? couldn't that couldn't that couldn't happen. I think the Knicks wanted to trade. What the, the Knicks on the clock? What do the Knicks need? I'm, um, they about to bring back Mitch Robinson more than likely. They got Randall hold guard, down maybe. to four. Or maybe a wing. Maybe they got you, quickly maybe at the AJ? one. Or AJ maybe, Barrett. Maybe you pick AJ. Ooh, this is interesting. This is inter- I wonder who the Knicks. The Knicks could use. They have one after playoff such a, series win in the last twenty two seasons. The Knicks let the city let let their city down last year after the after a great uh season uh bubble season not bubble season but light fan season. The Knicks went back to being the Knicks. I do like what R.J. Barrett. I think R.J. Barrett uh definitely took a leap forward next mm-hmm. season. I, I saw mean, something that said last season. If they extend Barrett, that'd be the first number first round pick they extend in like twenty years. That can't be true. You don't think so? Twenty years. Twenty years. I think so. Twenty years. Name somebody. If you can't off the top of your head, name some a pick from the first that you think the Knicks gave money to that they that they drafted themselves. Name somebody. Maybe Shump. Iman Shumper. Yeah. Did they extend him? I don't know. Was he on his rookie? Was he on his? Was he still on his rookie when he got traded? Maybe Shumper. Let me see. He, I think he was still on his rookie deal, but we'll see. Was he? What what pick was he? Iman Shumper. It was like I think like the twentieth pick or something like that. I think it was like the twentieth pick or something like that. I think. Does he play for the Rockets? No, he's not in the league. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. Of, other than that, who that they drafted? The Knicks have half had some very underwhelming picks, though. That is not a team going anywhere. We see, we have seen the, no the Knicks trades. traded him in 2015. He was drafted in 2011, so he didn't extend him. Right? Let me see. You might have a contract. Oh, no. That's a great question. If 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 that's true, that's that is malpractice by a franchise. You gotta scroll all the way down to the bottom on basketball reference if you want basketball reference. Oh, okay. I'm assuming I, I, I'm I'm assuming they go. Yeah, Asia. he didn't. He only made um, one million with the Knicks. One million with the Knicks. One million with the Knicks. Oh yeah, the two million with Cleveland. He was traded on his rookie. Oh deal. well, damn. Okay, yeah. I guess that might be the first in like twenty years. Yeah. That's crazy. That's actually that's absolute franchise malpractice. <laughs> he also didn't have picks for a while too. They traded him off for somebody. So he also did. So that 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 actually that actually might be true. Malpractice. Yeah, that's wild. Who are we getting? Who's coming to New York? New York, New York. I should have cut the volume on and see if they cheer or boo. <laughs> New York. New York. And then random side note, you guys, I will be a high school basketball coach next season. Pretty much official at this point. I'm not going to say the location just yet. But we're going Please don't coach. run no Celtics offense. <laughs> we're going by coach, Joe. Let's go. That's, the, that's what my players call me. But, yeah, we've been active. Uh, Shout out to that. Congratulations lot. Very busy. on that. Thank you. Thank you. Very busy life. I'm going to come see play. you, coach. Definitely. I'm going to definitely say hit you with the dates and where at. I'm, I, I, I'm expected to coach a summer game. So, I'm going to hit you for sure. Oh, they picked a man for France. That makes sense. Last Apparently. time, what, ain't Frank near the con for France? Ain't he, Frank Nealy, yeah. Frank. Think about this. <laughs> he no. Think about. I, I think he could have been decent. It's just like <laughs> Phil got fired. I don't know. He's so just like too much Phil, of a. Phil got fired and they just gave up. I don't know. He's just so much of a raw talent. He never really got out of. How, like, he I mean, he can guard though. Raw forever. Like he, he just guard, never really though. got that skill set. He can guard though. A little bit. He's a good defender. I seen him. Remember they um that when Trey Young hit that floater that killed the, that the reason why the niggas hate that man to this day. They subbed Frank Nilakata in that last play, and he got his ass cooked up. He was in he was in the, he was in the game for one play. <laughs> got his ass cooked up on that floater <laughs> and sent that to an L in the Madison Square Garden. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, look, yeah, I'm just saying they don't that that recent history with French players ain't all that great. Even though Frank, obviously, they has, have picked a couple French something. players. You know, dude who got dumped on by Vince Carter and Vince Carter jumped over him. Yeah, I, do. I, the I remember Knicks that drafted play. him. Oh, for real? Yeah, the Knicks <laughs> drafted him. The Knicks, the Knicks, I think drafted him that summer. Then he got dunked on. and He never came over again. Nah, dead ass. He never. He never. He dead ass. They like Ron Artest was the pick after, if I'm not mistaken. Uh huh. They drafted him. He got dunked on that summer, and he never came over. 
<laughs> he never came to the NBA. He never came to the NBA, bro. Dead ass. You know, I seen the Dream Team doc. That dude was talking about what it was like getting jumped over. You know, it was, they played all the time on NBA TV. Getting jumped over is crazy. I mean, he got a good skill set, though. He can shoot the ball a little bit. He can handle pass. Oh. I think he's, you know, I think, you know, I think he's a good person to pair with RJ and them. Hopefully, good. The Thunder are back on the clock. What pick is this? 12th pick. I want to see the Hornets pick and then we can wrap up. All right, cool. I'm That's why overseas is so interesting because they don't play this. They don't let their guys play a whole bunch of minutes. So overseas is always very interesting, like Euro League and Australia. And I, and I also don't think that they play forty minute games too. I think they play forty minute games, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think they play forty minute games. Chet Holmgren is back. Is on the clock. Guess he about to see who about to run with him. OKC. If I had to pick someone for OKC, I would probably say a wing. I'm thinking about who their wings are. I, all I can think of is Lou Dort and Darius Baisley. So if I was them, I would probably pick a wing. Like you said, I think that they're pretty set at guard. They also have Trey Mann as well. Trey Mann, Josh Giddy, Shea Gildress. I think they probably need a wing. Or maybe a center, even a center. Maybe you want to pick Mark Williams or maybe you want to pick the guy from um, Memphis. Um, Chet played a four. They played a five, maybe. But we'll see what they do. I'm interested to see what they do. But it's been a good draft so far. Like everything's kind of everything has kind of made sense to me at least. Like I, I haven't really seen anything that's been kind of like, whoa, what the fuck? Everything's kind of made sense. So far at least. I keep looking back because I'm running the trying to make sure the Pro Tools don't stop. That would be uh not ideal. Yeah, I'll take one. I was saying, um, I would like to see the Thunder either pick a wing or a center. Oh, shit. But yeah, the OKC, um, we are what <clears throat> round one pick twelve with a minute left. OKC is on the clock. Um, say the team needs our four spacing big wing forward. Mm. We'll see the pick is in. They about to select now. While they're selecting, real quick, any um any thoughts on the sparks so far this year, or after what you've seen? It ain't all fish fault. <laughs> But yeah, I think the spark. Yeah, that's my thoughts. So they all fish fault. It, I feel you. Yeah, it it depends fault. on how much of an influence fish had on bringing this roster together. I'm, I'm a new fan of the but, WNBA. But, 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 but thing, though, you can't. Cause you can't. You can't. You can't let a guy bring a full roster in and then give him a half a season to coach it. That's a that's like three that's shots, a, ain't it? That's a call. That is crazy. Pull up, Pavy. But. I'm from a new WNBA fan. Um, what I've seen so far from the Sparks, they have a seems like what seems to be a very weirdly built roster. And when you watch a team like the Aces play, it seems like they're on a whole different side of the earth. It was like watching the Warriors versus the Kings in 2016. Um, yeah, the Aces versus Sparks. Uh, I think that um, I, I even as much as um, Fisher obviously wasn't doing that well, as much as he, some people might say he deserved to be fired, he wasn't that good of a coach. I feel like firing Fisher at the time they did was kind of like throwing the towel in this season. Cause like you fire Fisher, what is and he's already hell going on. What is some a random interim coach, coach gonna, gonna be able do. to do to help the situation that's going on? Yeah, and it's very disappointing for somebody who wanted to root for the Sparks this year, but the Sparks is kind of like watching the Lakers all over again this year. <laughs> it's kind of like a disaster, but it. I mean, they have some talent. I really like uh, K. Katie Lou Simonson is one of the best shooters, um, knockdown shooter for them. I think Cambridge has been um, 
kind of underwhelming, to be completely honest I'm with you. I'm not the biggest Liz Cambage fan as far as basketball things go. I'm not mad at it. Um, she's been very disappointed for me as far as I saw, saw her Instagram. I have a lot of friends who are very fond of her. And when you actually see her plays, he can be kind of underwhelming for you. The guard plays been underwhelming, even though they just recently got Tolliver back from injury. They did. She helps, um, for sure. Even no, not injury. She was she? with oh. the Mavericks. Oh, okay, for sure. She's at Mavericks. Yeah, yeah, not injury. The guard play has been very underwhelming. Um, but yeah, it seemed like the Sparks if they actually want to want to get a winning team, they kind of. Uh, Neck is obviously having a great year. Yeah, like Neck. But Neca, better... but, but Neca always has great. Like that's one constant mm-hmm. is Neca. Neca is gonna be mm-hmm. Neca. That's far. They got a great year from their best player. But outside of really NECA, it's this team is really hard to really see. Kind of, they don't really have an identity. They're, they that identity they do have. They don't. They aren't that good at it. Like they like to. Uh, they like to feed NECA and like to feed Cambridge. Um, I don't think they know how to feed oh, them. Oh, Jalen Williams. He got picked in the lottery. Remember I was telling you about yeah, you were Williams. telling about Jalen Williams. That's what's up. I didn't expect him to get picked twelfth. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect him to get picked twelfth. But Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams is my guy. Jalen Williams, Williams is my guy. Yes, that's that's why fifteen points, fifty percent. He could pass. He could. He could um, defend. Also, you went to Santa Clara, That's so I'm up. assuming that you know how to uh, play. If you can draft it from there, no. Nah, but yes, one play, two play with the weight of the world on your shoulders. I didn't expect him to get picked 12th though. That's far. 12th they, is high. I didn't expect that. A six man guard for them. With obviously they got the Giddy Shea backcourt. Shout out to Oklahoma. I'm not mad at Sam. I actually ran into Sam Presti once in the summer league. He was just walking amongst everybody else. Fire. In the um around the the uh. Whatever name of that arena is, I forgot. The Thomas and Mac. Yeah, center. Thomas and Mac. Yep. Mm-hmm. You going to some league this year? I don't plan on it, but if I end up there, I wouldn't be too surprised. I've been to a couple. What about you? I don't know. I might go. I don't mind going. It just should be games going on all day. For you don't got to. <laughs> all day. Like I'll be liking to go see the who I who I who I want to see, and I'm like, all right, I'm I'm good mm-hmm. now. I feel you. It's not really. I mean, I do. I would love to see Chet. I play live. Actually, I feel like that'd be fun seeing some of these guys. Pop Paolo, uh, Benchero, seeing him at the. It's actually some dudes who really would like turn my head and have me really interested the entire game. So that might be the move. Who knows? I mean, Thunder are having a good draft though. Again, as ex- Hornets, as, please as, pick as, ex- as expected. Hornets pick a center. Uh, they boys should be all centers. Michael Jordan pick a center. <laughs> Yo, you saw when the kids saw Mike. I, you ain't you ain't uh you ain't see that video. They was looking for um Lamelo at the uh uh-huh. at the um Hornets facility, and then Mike walked outside. It was like, oh, Michael Jordan, Mike, can I get a picture? I did see that. And people thought Mike said no, but he said, wait till I get down there. <laughs> Mike, what you do? You see Michael Jordan. What do I do if I see Michael Jordan? I'd be like, I honestly be in awe. I, oh shit, shit, that's MJ. Like, that's MJ. That's Big Jeff. <laughs> Please just pick a center. This pick should already be in by now. Pick I a would, center. I would be. In, I wouldn't be too surprised. I see a lot of. I come across a lot of famous people in Los Angeles, but I, I definitely try to sneak a pick somehow or some. I don't know. That'd be too amazing. Yes, yeah, Michael Jordan. You got to, bro. It's, it's Big Jeff. You got to. I think I'm gonna take another shot. Please pick a center. But damn, I didn't think he was gonna get picked that high. That's shout out, shout out, shout out Jalen Williams. It's a guy I'll be looking forward to watching play basketball. Shout out, shout out Jalen. I did not expect him to get picked that high though. Twelve was high. I thought he'd be more fifteen to twenty. And even that was probably high to me. I thought more like really twenty to twenty five. Did he talk about a trade? I want to go on Twitter right now and go on Wolf's well, no, page and see what's going on. Uh-huh. Now I just want to see if there's something going on that, that I don't know about. Go to Wolf's page. Is there anything going on I don't know about? Oh, the Knicks traded the 11th pick to OKC. Oh, wow. Who will select? Who will select? So the Dane guy went to the Thunder, actually. Uh, the Thunder sent multiple first round picks in New York. Um, um that's the only trade that happened. I'm not a one hit one and then what must do. Yeah, that's the only trade that happened. So the pick before that the Knicks made went to somebody else. So the Knicks didn't have a first round pick this year, basically. They were traded for future draft picks. Me and the Knicks probably looking to trade with something for somebody for something. 
Katie get into the Katie or Kyrie mix? It'll be or nice some to see mix. them take a step for sure. It would be nice for sure with Lamelo unleashed. Another All Star. He's bound for another All Star appearance uh, next season. Maybe Miles Bridges can slide in there if they get a little more success. Dan Tony go there. This guy's a limit for their stats. If Mike Dan Tony went to Surly, oh my God! In this era, yeah, Lamelo might win MVP. <laughs> nah, dead. Lamelo might win MVP. I'm dead ass serious. Dead. He gonna. He I'm go, he not go. mad at it, G. We seen. Did you see what uh, Mike Dan Tony had Kendall Marshall looking like? You remember no, that? I don't oh, remember no. he had Kendall Marshall. Yeah. But I do remember when Kendall Marshall played for the Lakers, so I do remember that. He did Kendall like Marshall. He, he had, did like a quality basketball player with the Lakers. He had Kendall Marshall looking like, like Jason Kidd play. with a jumper. <laughs> I swear. I swear. <laughs> he did but like he, quality basketball player. LaMelo play. Ball in a Mike D'Antoni system is must-see basketball. He's already must-see basketball now, but oh my. And Miles Bridges and the rest of and the PJ Washington and the rest of the guys that have to compliment that team. Woo! That's, that, that'd be, please go get him. Now let's see what they're doing. Pick is in. All right, cool. Pick a center. Just pick a center. Unless they're going to pick something else and then go for center at 15. I'm not a, what the fuck? I'm not a, um... I really want to hear what Perk is talking about. <laughs> oh, no, I wonder what Perk is talking about. They're not going to crazy. They need to get an imitator like me out there. I think if you put me on the horn, put a young me on the horn, you easily get 55 wins next year. Perk was solid, though. Oh, though. Perk, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I hated Perk back in the day. Perk was solid, though. That's 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 the funny thing about Perk. Oklahoma he was solid. Um, seeked him out and traded for him because he was, they thought he was going to be the answer to uh, stop the Lakers. Kendrick Perkins, Kendrick Perkins was once a, like, a, a guy. like He was like a... I'm trying to think who was like a I don't know the, he was Looney. a Lou Dort of 2010. He was like a Kavon Looney. He was like a Lou Dort of 2011. Kavon Looney. Lou Dort. Wow. Like not Dort? in like the same way, but like in the same in the sense of value. Like that's how much value he had. That's fair. Like any team would love a Lou Dort. Any team back in 2011. Love any team back in 2011 would have loved. I still think the reason they lost that series. I still think the reason they lost that series and Kobe grabbed all their rebounds was because Perk tore his ACL. It is he what it is. Grabbing, he not grabbing 17 rebounds. It is. It is what it is. He not grabbing also, 17 rebounds. Also, if you rewatch that there. game, Rasheed Wallace was getting hitting a lot of post fadeaways. He played. He filled Kendrick Perkins' role pretty well. He yeah, but he didn't in a different him. way. He still he did. He, he still produced. We needed. We needed them rebounds. Kevin Garnett can't rebound. That's only one man, bro. What you mean? That's only he one. Can't do everything, bro. They picked a the center. Cool. <clears throat> but nah, Kendrick. Oh yeah, they did. All right, cool. That's fire. Jalen. Darren, what's his specialties? Feel like he can block a lot of shots. I'm assuming. <laughs> Six ten, two fifty. Can he jump? Yeah. Athletic. Good. Perfect. Twelve and eight. Twelve, eight and two. Good pick. Charlie, way to way to drive your need. Way to go after your need. I'm excited to see him get woo. Excited to see him get out there and play some NBA minutes. I think he, they immediately, I think they should immediately give him at least 22 minutes, minimum minutes per game out there in oh, Charlotte. That happened this year? <laughs> get that shit out of here, Tatum. That was a great block. That's the last time Tatum tried to dunk. Get the fuck out of here. The last time he tried to dunk. Cap. It's the last time Tatum Cap. tried to dunk. Cap. Can't but, believe. What's up? But let's get ready to wrap it up. Yo. Um, Get your plug in. Tell the people where they can find you um, and all of that. What's good, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah, get me on Twitter at the Jolts with two S's, J-O-L-T-S-S. Hit me on the gram. East Ghost with a zero. East Ghost, not a zero. I'm not an O. It's a zero. And, yeah, thank you for tuning in. We out. This is a draft finals recap, season recap podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's go. As always, man, follow me on Twitter at Pavy World. That's P-A-V-Y World, all one word. Um, yeah, man, keep streaming my music. Uh, Spotify, Pavi, Apple, Pavi, anywhere you want to find me, Pavi. And until next time, man, we'll holler at you.